Nice. And I'm, wow. another positional masterpiece in a Ray Lopez. How many of these has he played today? It's just, it's just ridiculous to be able to lose a game with the most elementary of blunders um, in a drawn rook end game and come back and just play a measured, solid game like that. It's uh, so impressive. Yeah. And in my opinion, yeah, Niha has to find a way not to lose this game. And if so, this is what I said when we went into the halftime. I, th I thought if you could keep it in within two points, that makes the bullet extremely close. I think he's a slight favorite. Mm -hmm. If he loses this game, and Hikaru even pointed this out, there's that weird unspoken border between a two-point lead, okay, just two games and you're tied again, and a three-point lead sounds completely different. This is very important. We have a Catalan. This line with C6 is extremely fashionable. Mm -hmm. Bishop G6 yeah, here is, is the move. Front. And I think the line goes like Bishop G6, and the white either has Knight H4 or Knight E5. And you can play bishop f3 as well sometimes. Like, I know it looks really weird, but you play, give up your bishop, play rook yeah. c8, just go like super, super solid. Yeah, I mean, he's going to end up giving his bishop away anyway. And yeah, that's right. One could even say that this slightly damages black spawn structure. <laughs> yeah, well, in hindsight now, I think maybe I would have played bishop f3. Right. I actually, I changed my mind. <laughs> Put the pawn back in the stone. <laughs> exactly. You cool with that, man? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you are. Of course. You're not going to be, you know gatekeeper <laughs> force me to bishop g5 nihal putting the pressure here e4 is always should be considered but can also end up being premature takes open the a file h4 maybe just like slowly improve position <laughs> looking at h4 and if you go something like rook a8 maybe takes takes knight b5 it's like, like, I'm not sure if it's good but it looks like something you might go for boom um, boom boom and, and here and get this if the queen moves back to defend the rook misdirection bishop takes d7 and the bishop that's hangs. awesome yeah yeah another pump better. fake i'm taking the rook i'm taking the rook right i'm taking the rook. Yeah. no i'm not taking the bishop taking the knight and nihal h4 on the board Before that was just a cash line. <laughs> yeah, that, that line is... is cash money. <laughs> Ring that up is... the register. Yeah, B four is definitely uh, it's registering with me is a is a pretty good move there for Black. Getting out of my line with Rook A eight. You know, if it prevents my amazing uh, suggestion, then it's got to be there. right. That's <laughs> express purpose of that move. Knight F six. Now Wesley has to be very careful, but he's gotten C five in. And it seems to me that he's freeing himself. And even c4 followed by c3 can be a very nasty idea. And if Nihal takes it, there's like concrete problems. F2 is hanging. The queen is x-rayed. You might have to go for this. Ugh. A little bit yeah, ugly. That looks wrong <laughs> on so many levels. Right. And it's hard to recommend a move. Yeah, it is. I don't see what to do. Because you're oh, kind of darned if you do, darned C if you don't. Queen c4? Ah, put the queen, but cd? Oh, and a queen a6 bishop, or something. Bishop c5. Yeah, no, initially I was going to blunder bishop c5, so that then that just falls right into it. But yeah, maybe queen a6 somehow is arriving. Rook a6, yeah. No, you were just testing me to see if I saw cd. And yeah, look at maybe, the time situation. <laughs> maybe I'm 40 playing bishop seconds. f6. You listen well, I mean, to the voice of the voice of wisdom. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? You know, even my blunders are tremendous moves. <laughs> he is the most interesting man in the world. Even his blunders get two exclamation points. <laughs> Rook a6 he's, was my secondary choice. He's so good at chess that even when he blunders his queen, his opponents resign out of respect. <laughs> exactly, like the story <laughs> that you you've told before. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the, in the tw famous movie, The Twelve Chairs. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that, resign now to save face. <laughs> yeah, and then there's the famous follow-up scene where Bender, the con man who pretends to be a GM, he steals a rook from one of the boards, right? Because he knows he's, he's about to get exposed. And, and they find out, and 
there's a famous line, give me back my rook. And then they start chasing him through the entire city as he escapes. With a rook, that, yeah. <laughs> with the rook in his pocket, yeah. And mayhem ensues. Mayhem ensues here. White is still down a pawn, but clearly Nihal's got a lot of peace activity. Will it amount to anything? So king f8 or bishop f8? Uh, I don't know. Bishop f8, let's say. And the move that's concerning is rook c2, because now black's pawns are all defended. b4, b4, both protected. Rook c2 kind of looks like an issue. Bishop c5. I think he's cooking up tricks like this, trying to go for a discovery. Ooh, that's pretty fun, yeah. But but rook c7, d3, white has bishop e3. Wow. And this could backfire. Yeah, who's pinned to who? Right, exactly. What? Bins are a very double-sided creature. Wesley definitely missed that. He's missed bishop e3. Nihal might win this game. He did because, I mean, isn't it kind of like if someone plays rook c7, like Nihal that quickly, you got to feel like you got to double check d3, right? Like it's too obvious. And one of Nihal's strengths here is he just, you know, clearly some of the fatigue showing. Rook takes d8 and bishop e2. Wesley with a complete collapse or wait. How does Nihal win this? That's amazing, right? This is an incredible idea, but this is completely winning. Rook is coming to c8. Exquisite technique with 10 seconds on the clock. Yeah, that's it's just unbelievable. But Nihal, once again, so good. And he's going to play rook c8. He's going to win that. And the knight on f6 and is dominated. He just doesn't trust anybody. He, he checks all these lines. Uh, he calls, calls bluffs. And to turn this game around, down upon in time pressure once again. And rook d1, the hammer blow trapping the queen. Wow. My goodness. What a game.